Okay, so I've already cheated and drawn the front of the house. So this is what we do when we show up. We're gonna draw it all out. I'm including the gutters on here because I'm possibly gonna do them. It's always nice to have all the information. Um, and I just write front. This is a very large house, so we're gonna do it on a couple different pieces of paper. But I go through and I, I draw out exactly what I'm gonna be measuring. I go back through and measure, write the dimensions in here just to make sure that I didn't miss anything and we'll double check it. So I'll start with this gable here. There's a little piece up there. This whole gable that you can see over here, we're gonna count that as one gable, continuous. The inside of this porch has a ton of stuff on it, so we'll go from there. So that measure right there was 21 feet, two inches. 21 feet, two inches. And believe it or not, that is the only measurement that I need. I saw guys laying out tapes, doing rollers, doing all kinds of stuff. So it's 21 feet, two inches. How am I to measure this table? Well, I can take my tape, if I got a good one, I can go up in there, I can guesstimate, or I can know our product, know that this is triple four, and I can see how many panels are on that wall. So a triple four panel, we have a 10 inch and a 12 inch panel. This is a 12 inch, it's one foot per panel. There are 11 panels on that wall. So that wall is 11 foot tall. So I can just write that down in there. 21 foot 2 inches, which we round up to 22 feet. So this one would be 22 by 11. And that is the only siding on this. Um, I'm going to do the gutters later on my own here. Normally I would measure them as we go, but we're short on time. Walking around. We have this little section up here. What I'm going to do is not include that section in my measurement because I'm going to make this gable a continuous gable coming down. So essentially we're going to start on that side, measure over the width. We will have counted these panels as well. There are 15 panels on this wall, so it's going to be 15 feet tall at the peak. And we're going to treat this all as one gable. Since we're not counting this angle, that little piece can just fold around and we'll be good with our temperature. gutter which will include this fold around I have 27 feet dead even so this gable would be 27 feet by 15 feet at the peak and that includes all three of the major facets on the front of the house next we're going to go in and measure this pole. other than this little uh, additional header wall that's covered all of these heights you'll take one measurement for the height They'll all be the same in this room, they'll all be the same in that room, so we'll have two individual height measurements. And this I do write down individually, I don't lump them all together, that way I make sure I didn't miss anything. It's seven foot and some inches, so we're gonna go right in eight foot. I can get one height measurement in this room. It is 10 foot 3 inches, so we're going to go 11 feet. So this section here is 8 feet by 11 feet. I already know this is 11 feet tall. I already know this is 11 feet tall. Eight foot one and a half inch, so it's going to nine feet. This is 22 inches going to two feet. So I've got nine foot and two foot. This section over here, 
I'm going to first get the height on. Once you hit a round number, it's 12 foot 1 inch. I'm going to go 13 feet here. And I know that wall is going to be 13 feet. This is 11 4 going to 12. So that section there is 13 by 12. I need the width of this wall. Forty two inches, taking it to four feet. And then we just have these two little sections here. The inside and outside of it. That is three feet. And we already know that this is four feet, so that's three by four. And then we need this measurement here. This will be eight feet, and that is one panel, eight foot by a foot. So when you're all said and done with the siding, we X'd out this part because it came into this gable. We just continued this down. 15 feet, 27 feet, 11, 22, and then all my footages are here. I'm going to take all these numbers times each other, write them all here in a row, which is what guys were really just showing us, but I want all of this too so I can see what was missed when I come out or look at it. You're going to write down all these numbers when you times them all together right here. Whatever that number ends up being, let's say it's 703, you round that up to your 8 square. That's measuring solid and rounding up and that is what we do.